All right, I get this question. Asus, thought about Asus um, tuning and with, with trans tuning. So what we'll do is we'll just go over it real quickly, uh, give you guys some ideas so you can experiment out that helps you out. So first thing to do is you need a tuning tool called Blue Cat. You can go to my website, prototechllc.com. If you go to Asus EFI, just uh, go to the wiki page. Just to click here. You can go to Blue Cat, and you can download the software. A few seconds, a few seconds. Go to Downloads, Extract All. I don't own the software. Um, the ex uploaded the executable, well, the zip file, so you all can use it. Just double click. Let's use some security stuff. All right, so there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to use this to its full extent. Uh, this is just to give you some general some ideas on how to plug it in with ACES. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is make sure you got a appropriate transmission selected. Uh, 4L60, 6570 is the same. Throttle body, the throttle body, um, if you're running, you know, ACES 92 millimeter, you can just plug this one in. If you're using uh, drive-by wire, just pick one of these. Um, Electronic throttle control, uh, 9704 bit, usually work. Uh, we'll just do cable throttle body. So what it's done is it's, it's changed the shift scheduling here automatically some more, refined it some more. So what you need to do <clears throat> is go to your drivetrain side and then plug in what your gear ratio is. Uh, your tire size and what you're idling at. Oh, say you got a, you know, say you got a 2800 saw. This is four torque converter lockup, minimal gears. It's third acceleration gear. So, <clears throat> so you can look at the lockup configuration there. Uh, VSS is 40 coefficient, which matches ACEs, four gears. All right, so all that information is populated. Now you can just go to Export Window, um, Gen 3. Uh, if it was drive by wire, you would do, you could just do Gen 4. Um, so what you see is your main shift schedule. Wide open shift schedule, wide open. RPM, torque converter. So what we'll do is we'll we'll start here with this wide open RPM throttle. Go to your your ACES. Go to transmission, and then. This one, two, wide open, two shift, open shift, and three, four. You can just go through and you can change this to these values. This is just to get you started. You'll have to drive the car and, and fills, see how it fills, and, and go from there. You may need to add or subtract some RPM. Some things to make sure that's important if you're using ACES drive by wire is to, or not. ACES transmission control, you need to select the ACES drive by wire um, pro firmware. So when you're doing the setup, no matter if it's drive by cable, you still want to go you still want to go through and and set up to make sure it's drive by wire firmware. Because if not, what will take place is when you do transmission control, you'll select it, so you'll write it, uh, and then if you go to upload, upload to read your changes you'll see that this will default back to no. So I just, that's one thing to look forward, make sure you got the right firmware. 
So with that said, this is a 58X 4L16. Um, I don't know what I don't know what tune this is. I just grabbed one. Controls, yes, we confirmed that. Uh, you can download it and then upload it just to make sure that stays at yes. If it goes back to no, you selected the wrong firmware. Even though you're, like I said, your drive by cable, you still select drive by wire firmware. And you can go through and you can you can set drive by wire to no. So you can just change this value here. So if you're a drive by cable and you use the drive by wire firmware, you'll just select this to no and save your change. So with that said, we'll go back to transmission control. We did our wide open throttle shifts. We adjusted the RPM there. Thing you need to make sure. Thing you need to make sure of. Is you plug in your tire diameter. So this has to match Blue Cat, um, um, or you know the shift schedule is going to be off tremendously. So what I typically do is I get in HP tuners. I'll go through and then put, I'll just put in my actual uh, tire size. Six point nine. So you can tire height there. You can get your tire height there. Um, sometimes I found this to be a half inch or an inch off uh, measuring actual, but I said that'll get you close. So the entered has been entered. The gear ratio has been entered, and then this VSA. Um, calculation correction. So what you'll have to do is download a GPS phone speed, um, and then go out and drive the car. Look at the look at the speed that's on your phone, and compare it, and then compare it to the VSS. If it's off, uh, you'll have to adjust this. I found this number tends to land somewhere around between 25 and a half and 26 and a half typically, and gets you pretty close. Uh, once you get that dialed in, it starts shifting a lot better. So make sure. Um, so make sure that's correct. The other thing you want to look at is in configuration. No, it's no transmissions right. Okay. So now in one D table, you'll go through and you'll start adjusting speeds here. Speeds here. So this is your one two shift. It's your two three. This is your, this is your two one three two and four three. So what you would do is you would just go through here and uh, put these in, and then just update that accordingly. You'd go to the second one, do the second roll here, put those values in. Third, start here. You would start here, and then downshift. You would do eight, and then three, four. You start at fifteen, and then three. You start at twenty-four. So once you once you download or update these values here, you would go and you just download the change to the actual. ECU, go out and drive it. Just make sure your VSS and your phone is matching your phone GPS speed. Um, see how it shifts. If it needs further re refinement, you can go through and adjust the shift schedule. Uh, you can play with, you know, the, the shift RPMs. There may be one other thing. Spark. So if we go into Spark, sometimes you know they'll have a Corvette servo, or they'll have a, one, they'll have a one, hard one-two shift. You can go through and you can retard this value here between one-two and see uh, if, if that softens the shift some. Uh, hard one. People like a hard one-two shift. Some people don't. I don't personally like it, but you can uh, retard the timing. So what that does is. When 
the transmission knows it's in between one and two shift. Retard the retard the timing during that area. So if you if you go to your max brake, so if you're one two, if you're one two shift somewhere doing the one two shift and it's landing somewhere around, let's say here, what it's is is it's going to look at and say, hey, it's 22 degrees, uh, I'm doing a one-two shift, uh, so you're letting off, so it's it's falling, you know, somewhere around, falling somewhere around maybe here in a shift schedule. So it's going to take 16 and minus 8, so it's only going, the car's only going to have 8 degrees of, uh, during, uh, during that shift. Um, as you move further up, it'll reduce, reduce, reduce these values down by Eight degrees. So that's kind of how that works. But yeah, that's uh, trans tuning, and uh, in shell, you can you can go through and experiment, um, figure out what works best for you. Uh, biggest things: make sure uh, tire size, uh, gear ratio, and BSS corrections correct is right um once that's right just use blue cap to start, uh, getting it a little, uh, getting it a little bit better because with with throttle bodies and torque converters all, all those shift schedules change and um cat is a is a good to tool to get those parameters um matching up closely without you know spending hours and hours of um driving and, and refinement so tool I don't know who created it, but I uh, appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or need uh, remote tuning, just uh, reach out to me. Prototech at uh, prototechlsc.com. Uh, contact info's there, or you can email me. Um, prototechlsc at gmail.com. Reach, uh, reach out to me through uh, Facebook or, or YouTube. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks, guys.